Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby and today I'm going to be doing my April TBR. I picked 10 books that I want to read in the month of April. Obviously I'm going to read more than that but I don't like to have a super set TBR just because I'm a heavy mood reader. Um, I will link them all down below. I'd love to hear what you guys want to read in April and let's get right into it. So I was really excited to receive an ARC from First to Read I think is what the site is called for life and other inconveniences by Kristen Higgins I love Kristen Higgins I've read I think four of her books and I loved all of them I rated them between four and five stars so I was super excited to get picked for this and my review is due before May so I got to read it this month and it is about an, a mother no a grandmother and a granddaughter duo named Emma and Genevieve. Genevieve is the grandmother and they haven't spoken in years but apparently Genevieve calls Emma one day and needs something from her and it is about them coming back together and realizing they're more similar than maybe they thought to begin with and I don't really want to know much else than that. Kristen Higgins writes really wonderful women relationship books um, usually between sisters or friends and this time it's grandmother and granddaughter and I'm really excited for it. Um, I just love all of her books and this one I think comes out in the late summer. Not 100% on that one. And then after that I have another arc and it's called Fix Her Up by Tessa Daly. Tessa Bailey. I've never read anything by Tessa Bailey and this one I got off of NetGalley and it comes out in June so pretty soon. And it's about a girl named Georgie who her family owns a really good renovation company and they are really famous for it but she didn't want to do that so she plans parties for like kids but everyone makes fun of her for it because they don't take her seriously and she doesn't date or anything so she wants to fix herself up look better um, seem more confident and she asks her brother's best friend to be her fake boyfriend his name is Travis Ford and he is an ex-athlete and he agrees to do this and it is their romance I'm not sure what else it's about, but it sounds really cute um, and I can't wait to read it. And then the next one I have to talk about, I just recently purchased. I didn't include it in my March haul because I had filmed that a couple days before I got this, but that's okay. It is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing and this just came out, I believe, on the 26th and it sounds amazing. It's been getting phenomenal reviews and I don't know a lot about it. But that's what I want because I like to go into my thrillers not knowing much. I do know it is about a married couple who like to kill people for fun. So they find someone and they kill them and I'm guessing things just don't go that great. Uh, I can not imagine that it goes that well uh, over time. And yeah, sounds really creepy and right up my alley. Next one I have to talk about is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. I just picked this up this last month. And this is a friends to lovers romance between Josh and Hazel. They, I believe, go on like a ton of double dates. And at the end of the night, instead of being with their date, they are with each other. And I've heard this is a lot of people's favorite Christina Lauren book. And I've read three others. My favorite is Love and Other Words. I've read that one. Dating You, Hating You, and then Autobiography. And so I'm really excited to read this one and it just sounds really cute. And then one I'm really excited for, I have on my Kindle through Kindle Unlimited. So I just want to read it and move on to the second one in the series. It gets really high ratings. It's called Bright Side by Kim Holden. And this one's a little bit older. I believe it's like three years old or something. And it is about a woman named Kate. She is always really optimistic and that's why she is nicknamed Bright Side. And she goes to college I think across the country and she meets a guy named Keller and it is their romance. Uh, they meet in college and they both have some dark pasts and secrets and I assume it gets in the way of their romance. I don't really know what else but it sounds pretty emotional and I'm here for it. And then after that I want to read the third book in the What He Doesn't Know duet. It was like an add-on book and it is called what He Never Knew by Candy Steiner. So originally it was a duet about a woman who's married and then a man from her past comes back and it's, it's a love triangle of her choosing between her husband and her childhood sweetheart. And in the end she picks one and everyone loves the second guy so much that they want to see his romance. So the third book is The Guy She Didn't Choose and I'm not going to say which one in case you haven't read the books. But I have no idea what, really what it's about. I just know it's the guy she didn't choose. And yeah, I'm really excited for it. Because I absolutely loved the first two. I gave them both like five stars. They were phenomenal. 
And then in from the library, I have We Were the Lucky Ones by Georgia Hunter. I actually have a physical copy of that on my shelf somewhere. Um, my husband had gotten it for me for my birthday, and he's been begging me to read it. And I don't know what has been stopping me from reading it. It sounds right up my alley. It's a World War II fiction about a Jewish family that are separated at the start of World War II. I don't know much else, but it does sound emotional. It sounds really good, and I've heard great things about it and my husband will be super pleased that I'm reading it. But yeah, it's coming from the library, I think, this week. And then I have another ARC. I think it came out in February, but it was still available to download off of NetGalley, so I decided to just pick it up. And it is called Missing Daughter by Rick Mofina. I think that's how you say it. Never read anything by this author, but it's about a married couple named Ryan and Karen. And they discover one morning that their daughter Maddie, who I think is 13 years old, is missing. And a boy admits that he was at her window the night before, but he swears it wasn't him, he didn't do anything to her. And I assume something bad happened to Maddie and there's probably some secrets in the family. But other than that, I don't really know what it's about. And then I have a pre-order coming in. I think it comes out April 9th. And it is an anthology of 15 short stories by 15 authors. And it's called Spring Fling. And they're all about spring break, romance, steamy kind of short stories. And I've heard it's pretty good. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. I'm usually not a huge anthology short story fan. But I think this will be really enjoyable for just like a quick read or just reading a story here and there. And it was like only 99 cents on Kindle to pre-order. So definitely want to get to that one this month because it is spring and then I have my last one to talk about one last time by Corinne Michaels this is the second book in the second time around series I think there's four books total and I read the first one we own tonight I think last month and I really liked it um so this one is about a girl who's a celebrity blogger so she writes blog posts on celebrities I'm guessing and she falls for one of her subjects that she's writing about and it's their romance. I don't really know much else but I assume it's going to be steamy and I'm really excited for that one. So those are all the books that I have on my TBR. Like I said I'm a big mood reader but I'm thinking I could probably get to all of these. Let me know what you guys are going to be reading. I will link all these below and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!